Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to create matrix code logo reveal in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition or let's get started. So after create a composition and as you see here in my comp I have a logo placeholder right here. And you can see here the comp size just 800 by 1080. And right here we call a background fill. So just a layer with fill and a creative wrap. Set to blending mode for this layer. Just so we can get a nice background here. And so and now we want to create animation for this logo. So we are going to use here card dance effect. And basically for the card dance effects we need a creative layer which we need to create first. So let's create a new solid and let's rename these fractal and then apply fractal noise here. And I'm going to animate the contrast here. So 700 at zero and around four seconds. I want these to be at zero. So we're just going to animate the contrast here. Very straightforward as you can see here. And let's add more complexity here and transform maybe just 50 here. And I'm going to add Colorama here. And I'm just going to remap the color here, going for Solarize Gray. And then CC Turner here to remap once more here. So just going for 50% gray here, 50 on blue channel. And doing that for highlights and midtones. And for the shadows, we are going for white. And I'm going to add fast box blur here and just set these to 8. And so we are going to get something like this. So the animation is very straightforward. The fractal noise just animating to the gray. And that's all what we need now. So let's just assign these to the card dance effect. First, let's turn off visibility for these and then basically Right here, we need to assign it on gradient layer one and make sure effect and mask is selected as well. And we'll want to animate these on the Y position. So we need to assign these channel as well. So intensity one, because we are assigning these fractal to gradient layer one. And then you can see we got the effects here, but we need to push these a little bit more. So right here we have the multiplier so we can multiply this by eight we just want that to be off screen so maybe a little bit you can also keyframe that if you need to so let's just preview this one more time here and as you can see here the animation looks just fine very simple nothing complicated here so let's add echo fat to this and add more echo so round 10 is fine minus 0 0.09 here on echo time intensity probably went seven and decay point eight five here just to create some variation to these echoes here and i'm going to apply colorama here to remap the colors so i'm going for ramp green and we need to make sure alpha is anti care we don't need that to modify alpha for us and let's just duplicate these here and let's just add the strides time here to change the frame rate so probably eight here so basically now we just created animation and the color for the numbers we need to create so what are they have here uh pair the numbers here so basically I have this pre-rendered version here, very straightforward, you can see here, we're just going to use the text layer to create this animation, which is really easy and simple here. So I have here the text already here prepared, just a text layer filled with the zeros here. So on anime, I'm going to add character offset and then add on animator one, I want to add opacity here. So I want the opacity just around 10 and the character offset. We just want to offset by one. So then it's going to be zero, one here. And basically when we change that, nothing happened. Just offset everything to one, but we want to have a variation on the screen. 
So basically, you can see here, we just affecting the opacity and then offset the character by one. But we need to add to the animator one selector weekly. So this is going to just wiggle uh, the characters between zero and one. So right here on the weekly six or settings, we have a wiggle. So probably per second, what five and a minimum amount we want 25 here so everything on screen is just going to be between zero and one and that's going to be the same as the pre-rendered version just animating the zeros and one on the screen so as you can see here we got these and basically it is animating so i'm going to turn off these and just go back to the pre-render version you can just pre-render these with alpha if you want or just a black and white both of them just depend on what you would like to use as i will show you here so let's just drag these to our comp here and basically it's the same size as the main logo placeholder so right here i'm just going to track map these and right now we want to use a luma here so now you can see we got the look we are looking for here so everything here will be animating with these zero and zero and one animations there. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you can see here, the animation looked pretty cool and it was easy to create these fake metrics animation here. So now if you want to change the animation basically of the logo, you can actually do that pretty easily. Just go back to card dance effect let's say you want to start an animation from exposition so it's going to start from the right side and because the comp here is vertical size you just need to change the logo placeholder just so it start from the edge of the comp here so you can see here now you need to multiply these by nine or eight and you can see here animation will start from edge here and if you want it from the main comp you can actually just change the logo comp size so basically you can combine both if you want here and play with that so you can see it start from the top right corner there and you're just going to get to the middle right there so we can get creative with that there's different channels here with these so for me i'm just going to keep these on the exposition and also here you can change the slice in here and it's just going to change the look of it so you can see how the rows and the columns affecting the look right there so i'm just going to keep that maybe around 10 and 20 or just to the default so you can see here you can just switch and get different looks so and now I'm just going to recompose these here and let's call these animation here. And I want to make sure the size here is matching the logo placeholder here. So let's just make sure it's 800 there. And now it's just look there just right. And I will show you why I do that later on. So you keep that in mind. So and now let's go back to the main comp here. And so I'm going to apply glow here and just going to pop up these nicely here so now we can see things. And basically, if you don't like these numbers that look just like that, you can actually add right here minimax effect just right before echo here and probably going for 10 or so alpha here and probably maximum then minimum here and you can see here the changes so probably just five and it's just going to fix a little bit here and there just so you can keep in mind what you can do with these as well so i'm just going to turn off that because it's going to be animated anyway so just a quick tip to keep in mind for that and I want to add a new camera here because I want to add some fake 3d animation to these so let's create orbit null and around three seconds I want to trim these so we can have another camera just 
while animating at the beginning and the second one here. So I want to animate here the orientation. So 25 on X, 45 on the Y here. So we need to make sure this set to 3D so we can have camera fixing that. And we want these to get around 40 and 10 on X. So the animation start and finishing is just going to look like that. So let's just easy ease these keyframes, put that for zero. And this is after the third second stare. So very straightforward animation, but we need to have some repetition to these animation to fill the screen. So and now I'm going to apply to this motion tile to make sure it is on top here and 500 on width. 200 on the height mirror edges and it's just going to fill down top you can actually phase to create some different looks so it doesn't look like a repetition there and that's look pretty cool so just minus something minus 2.5 just going to looks fine there so we're going to have animation going on you can also here adjust position if you want that to start really from the top the animation not really from there i'm just going to keep it as it is for now and for the second one i'm just going to animate here the z position so around there i'm just going to push these a little bit back and on the end just pushing it more a little bit just so we can have some animation going on to the camera easy ease the keyframes here so basically now we don't want these motion tied to still on the second take so right here all you have to do is animating out the here so right now need to make sure this just it before the last frame for the first camera here and then just see these two hindrance here so now we just have this one as you can see and I'm just going to keep animating there so let's preview and see how this looks like so as you can see guys by adding the camera animation make the whole thing looks very cool so and now we're going to make it more interesting by stylizing these even more so let's just duplicate these animation comp maybe three duplicates and we hit p for position and shift t to reveal opacity as well so we want just to push these on the z axis here just so we can have some depth and different opacities here just so we can have some really nice look to these as you can see here and so what i want to do now is just add cross blur and directional blur as well so 10 for directional blur and let's just put cross here after that so let's solo these so we can see what's going on and on the y repeat edges let's copy both of these effects so let's paste them on this one so now we can see more of that so probably we don't need directional blur we want to just have intensity on the glow let's put it just after and the same here for these comp as well maybe put five on the glow here and just 50 on the y here so as you can see here just adding these two effects just make it more having more depth you can add more duplicates if you want i'm just going to give the three duplicates here so you can see the difference here without these duplicates just a nice touch to add some depth to this what i'm going to do now is actually work on the revealing of the main logo here so let's just do that here so basically let's just drag here the main logo here make sure it is 3d and so we want that to be revealing at the end here 
So what I want to do to reveal that, I want to reveal it with this pixel animation, which is very straightforward transition here. Just circle here, as you can see, animating the radius here. And then add a mosaic effect to pixelating that. And you can see here the opacity is just 35 for the first layer, just duplicating that, this same one here and just offset that a little bit here just so we can have these revealing here. So we're going to use that to reveal our main logo here and we're going to use the Luma here. So let's select both and let's say we want them to start run there, make sure they are 3D and just track map the logo here. So we want that to be Luma here so then just going to reveal that right there but basically we want that to be a little bit when these are the into place here so maybe move these a little bit here just with almost these animation ends we can go back to car dance effects and animating the multiplier we need to and we can actually also animate the fractal contrast if you want to make it faster there. And I still want to add some touches to these by adding outlines to these logos. So right here, let's just create a new comp here for these logo and let's rename these logo outlines here. And then just duplicate this one and track map these. And basically we just want these to be inverted here so we can have these outlines. And I want to add sample choker here probably one per so here just so we can have defined outlines right here and so let's go back to here and just drag these one to the main comp and let's make these 3d so we want these basically to start showing up around there when it's pretty close animation is close to the place and so what i want to do here is just add the vegas effect here let's solo these and we want to make sure this is green as well here and so what i want to do you just segment set that to one and of course we want to animate here the rotation for these and let's make sure here that everything is into place so we want that to be transparent here so we can have just the outlines and let's just animate here Rotation. so at the end probably something animating there something like that easy ease these keyframes here so we're going to have these animation here and we want to add across lore as well on the y maybe 50 bit pages duplicating that can have some really nice look there and adding glow as well so probably like five glow here so we have really nice outlines there and so right here we want to animate capacity for this so starting from zero to hindering just so it start showing up as animation is going so probably a little bit further here and deeper on your sound effects you can just move the wires around just to make things really sound and looks pretty cool with the sound effects and if you need any tweaks you can always go back to card dance effects and make sure to tweak things so probably right here i would just change here these 200 and probably 60 on rows just so i can change here the look for these so it just a little bit more like glitchy zero one animation so just depend on how we want to slice these um animation here just to make it looks more interesting than just looking just normal so right now probably we have everything into place and actually you can also here changing the blending mode for these duplicates here just so we can get some really nice looks on top of each other here just going to change the mood a little bit for these as you can see here just make things pop up right there and i want to add a background 
here some really nice texture to the whole thing. So I already have here these textures here, which you can create yours very quickly and easily here. Just some textures to use here for these CRT RGB one that you can create here, or you can actually just download. There's tons of these textures online. So right here, just duplicating that with motion tile to create this one here. So just give you an idea here, just that motion tile here and rotate these just so we can create something like these, or you can just download the textures, Google that and you will find the textures to use. I want to add these right here, make sure it's 3D and we can just use multiply on these and you can see add a little bit of details there. So probably just 70 on the opacity here, just instead of just black, just look like a kind of screen and we want to push these away hindering so it's back on the space and we want to make sure to scale this app to cover the whole comp here so maybe 200 here and we want to make sure positioning first camera here and the second one and so what i want to do here just adding a new adjustment layer and let's rename these blur and duplicate this one and this is color correction so right here we just want to use the camera lens blur here we want to blur these just point two duplicating that we want to create a focus here so we want some blur on the edges so we need depth map for this which we already have here very straightforward to create just a black layer and a white one on top of it with a mask here just so we can create something like this and let's just drag these to the main comp here so we can use it on camera lens blur assign that on blur map and let's go for a on blur radius and just going to blur things here let's reverse that so the focus here in the center and blur on the edges right there which is pretty cool adding some nice touch there and for the color correction I'm just going to add first a sharp mask probably 80 adding noise as well if you need to probably just three and the lumetri color here so this is going to change how the mood of these looks using matrix blue and just add some really nice color grading to these and we can just add a little exposure here and crank up the highlights just so we can have some really nice highlights we can add overall glow here and probably just put five right here so you can see here we got some really nice look and you can actually fade out these um whole thing if you want so probably this whole thing you can just animate opacity at the end so you just reveal here these the main logo here and just zero out the whole thing here so we just keep the main logo probably we need to do the same to the outlines as well here animating here the opacity so we just keep these main logo here so let's preview and see how this looks like and of course we can add sound effects to these which you can actually create yourself or just download some nice ones here so you can actually move things around to sync it with the audio here so let's now just preview and see how this looks like So that's it guys, hope you get the idea and find this tutorial very useful for you as always and if you have any questions just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching.